My family's been here 45 years. I've always been two pharmacies in this town. Yeah. My grandparents were here, my folks were here, and there have always been two pharmacies in this town. Now, why would they shut down a pharmacy in the middle of the demo? Okay, clinically understood, we clinically understood this term. It's all they got. I love what sense of the nation. Take on a pharmacy. Okay. I have that make no sense to me at all. Okay. It doesn't make sense to a lot of people. And we figured. And, and that, that's why we want them to come up here <coughs> and tell us what's going on and what they're thinking. Yeah. Right now. Well, my concern is I'm, well, I do, I'm a senior citizen. My wife, most of my life, and I've got a senior citizen. I got a mother who's 90 that lives in town. Uh, a lot of senior citizens don't want to change pharmacy. They don't want to go down to Princeton. Uh, and they don't want to drive. Fairly was delivered to people in town. Okay. I know that for fact, but the mother's done it a couple times. And, 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 and they can. And it really irritates me that they decide to do that in the middle of this, this, uh, disaster, more or less. Um, I'm sorry, I can't explain what I feel right now. No, I, 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 I totally understand. It, it, it's just, and I've heard a lot from a lot of people that I know, a lot of senior citizens that I know, that it is really a thing. Okay. So what, what, what I would say, Rich, on that is I'll have Tammy, uh, get your contact, but I know where you live in contact. Yeah. And when they do set up a meeting with us, uh, I'll make sure you know, but I would appreciate just like that. everybody else. Okay. Um, one last thing. I, I don't want to disrupt anything. You read anything. I think I just want to, you, you went over it so fast, I didn't have time to jump in. Oh, okay. Sorry about it. Oh, no. and, uh, what was your address? 1135 Midwood Court Northwest. In other words, right behind the bar. It's when my, my kids were born with a hospital. So that's how long that building's in there. And, um, other than that, I just would like to know what's going on with these guys. Yeah. And, and we'll make sure Tammy gets that out to you and it will be on the city page. Um, my wife and I decided, well, we're, we're the same time. We're going to go to Princeton way if we're going to come up with something else. Okay. We don't want to go down Princeton. We don't want to go through the mail as far as mail and prescription is. People on here don't trust the mail. A lot of times there's a lot of stuff. In fact, I had stuff missing out of my mail. And we're supposed to read it. I'm supposed to sign it. You know, it never shows up or anything. I would be concerned also for veterans. I'll be concerned for people that are heart, heart problems that they need. And my wife is a diabetic. So she needs her stuff. This is, and it's, it's going to be, I don't think, uh, 50 bucks going to be able to handle the load. I can assure you when they had tubs and tubs and tubs of prescription stuff ready to go out. And I walk in the street and they're, they're just walking around doing nothing at the same time. So that's one of my concerns. So thank you. I would appreciate it if you know what I mean. Yes, we will. All right. Thank you, sir. Yep. Okay. Uh, back to um, the resolution. Um, resolution 2062 accepting CARE Act funding and submitting of COVID-19 expenses that is in your packet, the one that the black sheet. And Tammy and I will, well, let's have a uh, motion to accept it. Second. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, discussion on that. And then, then also, uh, and along with that, Tammy and I will be setting down this next week and going over the grant application because I think they have till the 22nd 
the businesses and uh, individuals to get their uh, applications for the grants in. And we'll be setting down with that right at that time. Any other discussion? Corey, how do you vote? Aye. Of North? Aye. Dave? Aye. Myself, yes. Motion carries. Ordinance 470, first reading. Uh, draft first reading revision of chapter 50, the garbage, and we'll go through the first reading this evening. And I'll entertain a motion uh, to adopt. So moved. Second. This is only the first reading. So any discussion on it or what we want to go over? And Jeff, this is the time you can speak. Okay, let's go over some of the changes that. Yes. Since I let, 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 let's go over it uh, one section at a time. Uh, anything under the definition? All right. Do you have anything under the definition? Yeah, there's a lot of state statute definitions that I'd like to look at. Um, mark quite a few of them so that they could be following the state statute. And you're going to have Damien look at them after yeah. our first reading? Yeah, and the Apple description of that. Which, which, which definitions are you looking at changing in case uh, Damien wants any input from the council? Okay, part of the grade. Okay, yeah. The solid waste would be from um, the um, Construction debris, total facility, industrial waste, mixed solid waste, recyclable material, yard waste, two more. That's fine. Hazardous substance, household hazardous waste, and industrial quality. So those are all definitions that follow state statute yeah. that we are going to make part of this ordinance, and you're going to draft that yeah. with Danny and Nick time. So that will be. Uh, and then, and then, are you? Do you want an um, one overall amendment for? Uh, Damien, okay. or just amend what we discussed tonight okay. and bring it back as a second reading. Just one? Yeah, just uh, have the conversation about updating the council and comments the first reading tonight. Yes. Yeah. And then I'll continue the committee and bring that to the next version to finalize the And that would be the second. So we we can adopt it as, a, as amended tonight, the first reading as amended. Right. Okay. And then mm -hmm. the final okay. reading with further clarification. Just so you're okay with that. Okay. And then another one under the definition of one would be to add um, and the consumer would be and or both. Oh, okay. And the definition of total facility to replace state with Minnesota. DCA, Minnesota and DCA. One question on bag. Is those Bags provided by the hauler. Yeah. yeah. So they have only bags provided by the hauler. It doesn't mean that I can set a bag out there. It has to be in there. It has to be provided by the hauler. Yeah. So make sure that is in there. Okay. Because if that's not in there, then anybody can have any type of bag out there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, I know, but. But I don't want separate bags setting out. Sorry. And the other definition, yard waste, we will add exclude city compost tax. Okay. 
Okay. And the other one that I have is 50.5. Well, is, is there any other under 50.02 from what we have before us? Okay. If, if any council member came up with any, I don't want some 504 in the container. Is it says that will be fireproof? Are you talking dumpsters? Or? No. You know, they're not fireproof. Look, it's plastic part. Fireproof. And I would, I, I guess the dumpsters. That's what they're talking about. But we, we could, Drop out fire too. Yeah, go all yeah. the parts not going to be fire too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any under 50 .05? 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50.05. 50
And if possible, uh, when you when you and Tammy get out those readings, if possible, if you can get them out to us uh, a couple of weeks or at least a week ahead of the council meeting, okay. so that we can see it, you know, and that we can study it and look it over and make it available to any interested people that are interested in it so that they have a chance to comment on it too. Okay. Okay, going on, Tammy? That's all I have. No, I went nowhere before I gave it to you and Damien, so okay. Uh any Jeff you asked to speak so yes. Uh again my name is Jeff Poole, uh Bennett Police Poole. I'm here to ask the council um to now grant the extension on the probably uh, contract that's up this year. Well we've waited probably what five, six years, had an opportunity to serve the community that we lived in, that we you know we patronize these local businesses. Um we just want an opportunity. You know, so we want to ask that uh, the RFP be released in fall. And if not, at least allow us a permit to operate in the community that we need to live. We have an opportunity to, to provide a, a service um, to friends, family, uh, to people that, that call our office and ask us for our service that we're not able to provide. And we're not even able to donate service to community events in the community in which you know the owner kids go to. Uh, Six of our employees are black graduates um, and their children. You know, we, we can't even, you know, with the exception of opening up a, a checkbook, which we do, um, we can't even provide a service for our community. So I'm putting with the council to release the RFP to fall, or at least give us a permit to operate in our own. We do not plan on doing anything tonight. Uh, we're just doing the first reading, and thank you for your comment, and then we'll go from there. Is this something that um, I can contact and we can discuss further? Where we go from there? Well, uh, well uh, what I would do is uh, have Tammy and Damien, they'll send you a copy of the second reading, and then look over the second reading. And then we could comment that night when we pass or discuss the second reading of the ordinance. And that's when we will make, be making the decision whether there will be one hauler, two haulers, and what, what the ordinance will say. Okay. okay. Fair, well. Fair enough? Yes, thank you. Okay. I don't believe I want to be contacted for this one, so could you send me an email? Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah. Any other discussion on from the council on the amended first reading? North, how do you vote? Aye. Dave? Aye. Corey? Aye. Myself? Yes. Uh, motion carries. So Tammy, you and Damien, will have that out for us and give it out to any interested people that have contact you that would like to look at it. But if you could have it out uh, at least ten to so days before our next meeting, and our next meeting is November. Is that 19th behind you there, sir? Yeah. Be, our next meeting will be November 19th. So if you could have it out to us. First week of November. Huh? First week of November. Yeah. No problem? Okay, thank you. And then to anybody that wants a copy of it. And there were in your packet, uh, Couple letters, I and 
The only thing I would like to say on that, it was it was misfortune, and we did get a letter from Republic uh, that were here at our last meeting, and they stated that they did not um, send out the the notice that everybody got in the mail. So, and I don't know if it. And we didn't get any idea of who might have sent that one out. No, it wasn't us. It wasn't us. <laughs> wasn't us. Okay. So, because I got many phone calls. So, okay, moving on to um, review of chapter uh, seven uh, traffic schedule and ordinance stop sign on first and second. So in uh, in that ordinance, uh, we have to have where all the stop signs are and able to enforce them. So I'd like to add the one that's supposed to go up on first and second, and that is going up this next week or so. They said two weeks. Okay. Okay. So I'll entertain a motion to add that to our traffic stop. So what will happen is that the next one will have the first reading. Was there any other stop signs that the city wanted to put in place before we had named this ordinance? That you can think of? Uh, Sam, I think we better, if that stop sign goes up in the next week, that means it can go up and we can enforce it till after it's in our ordinance. What's the liability on that if somebody runs that stop sign and causes an accident? No, but okay. yeah. So could we enforce it? If somebody ran it and had an accident. And the only thing I'd make sure is this. Okay. 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 And the other thing is, they did say they're going to put a sign up saying change of uh, pattern. Yeah. Don't you think they should put up a stop ahead? Or something for a few weeks. Yeah, for for yeah. it's going to be a huge adjustment. Yeah. And I can see accidents happen there. Well, it can't be interesting. No. <laughs> Is this by Casey? Yeah. Perfect. We've got a number up on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any anyway, uh, I I would just recommend. For you to uh, talk to the engineer, Tammy, to uh, maybe suggest that the council would like to be cautious on for a little while. Don't you think, Dave? What do you mean? Cautious, cautious as far as putting up a sign, yeah. caution, stop, yeah. four way stop. Yeah, any kind of warning that can be. Yeah. Talk to Neil. Yeah, talk to Neil and say, hey, Neil, we need. The council felt that that was needed. Okay, well, I'll take the and see you on it. On the project. I think, 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 No. We're going to have a first reading next time. But a discussion, so Tammy will bring it back and we'll suspend with the first reading next time and then go from there. Okay, resolution 2063 appointing election judges. I'll entertain a motion. Um, the motion. Okay. And, and election judges are before you. And Tammy says they're split between the two parties. 
and by law they have to be. Uh, any comments? I think I said this for you. North, how do you vote? Dave? Aye. Corey? Aye. Myself? Yeah. Moving on to reports and departments, police department, school contract negotiations for the school resource officer. Is there, is, no, Quinn here? Oh, yeah. Huh? Quinn's here. Oh, Quinn's here. Well, you can say what you have in there. So, we got a couple of times out of this, I believe, last Monday, and I then sent to the workshop at the school board to ask any questions. Um, so as I was saying, I was at their their last workshop meeting. We talked about just we had a few questions as to uh, how the resource officer has been used in the past. They were curious about the education aspects of it. Went over that a little bit. Um, at this point. Will they stand on the contract? I guess I'm not too sure. We haven't heard back from them. We're, we believe that they are leaning towards a 50 50 before it was a 75 25, 75 being the school. Um, and we're just waiting for their next board meeting, which is. I think they have one yet this month. Is yeah, it blank? Right. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of where we stand on it. We stand waiting on the school to be provided them with the contract and waiting for them to decide what they want to do and provide something back as to where they want to go forward with it. Is that the issue about your phone? Part of the contract is, is laying out the length of the contract. I believe the city proposed three years. Yeah. I thought it was four before, wasn't it? Or if I remember correctly, I believe the city proposed three years. Okay. But I mean, four. previous way. Four. Four it is four. Yeah. Years. So previously, I mean, that's, this is where all this came uh, started is we're not sure what the previous contract said unfortunately. The school didn't have a copy of the contract. And so it's kind of just been whenever there was a contract, we just under their previous leadership. <coughs> But just to continue to follow what was agreed upon at that time. There hasn't been any opportunity many years in there. And, and what's the theory behind the 50 50? Because yeah. that's what a lot of the other schools are doing. And their budgets too. Yeah. They're trying to find money too. Well, I know. And I would guess at this point, that's what I was asking year to year, because this year could very well be a. I mean, we're already a hybrid. We're going to evolve into this. Right. Um, so that would, you know, I can see where they would want to try and not pay for first or not pay for first. Right. They've talked about possibly part time. Um, I mentioned to them that our our staffing levels in the police department would be a difficult goal to accomplish to provide that part time and then for that same officer to be in a time slot within the department when they're not in the school that makes sense for the community. So, so really, really, we can't even vote on this until they come back with a proposal to Sammy and a final proposal. Correct. I believe it was on the agenda tonight as an update. Just to tell you okay. guys know where we're at. We're not getting really finalized anything at this point at the school. Well, when I spoke with you, you said even if we did go to 50%, that's not the reason. There's no guarantee that we would see them have a Really? In general, or just this year? Probably this year. Yeah, so I think in general, that's a good place. Yeah. 
Well, I, I would feel more comfortable with my students, you know, that I was teaching, and if you had a school resource officer in the school, if I was a parent, I certainly would want a school resource officer there. They've been there for years, and taken care of many incidents along the years, so. I feel like between Tammy and I, we've done a pretty good job of pushing the importance for many aspects of having that position. Okay. Any other questions? Any questions from any of the council members for Tim? Marcus? So you and Tammy will just continue and bring something back to us when the school has decided. Yeah, I believe at this point we're, we're just waiting on the school to. And, and, and are we as a council okay with Tim and uh, uh, Tammy negotiating with him? Huh? So, uh, Maybe we need a motion to authorize Quinn and uh, Tammy to negotiate with them. Would be okay with that? I'll entertain a motion. Let me go ahead with that. So moved. Second. Any discussion on that? Dave, how do you vote on that? Aye. Corey? Aye. North? Aye. Myself? Yes. And then if I could just quickly yeah. before we move on to the next story. Just to update you guys, the, uh, as most of you probably know, it's the impound lot was finished uh, about a month ago. <coughs> the, it's good that it was because in the last month and a half, we uh, impounded five vehicles, so it's in good use. And we have, I was able to purchase the radars, and I got one squad out there with the new radar, and hopefully this Thursday I'll have the other radar in, in the remaining. Thank you. Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Your report. Uh, Park Commission had no uh, meeting. Public Works, Garrett. Uh, my report's in the packet. It's under Public Works here, but it's uh, for the park. Um, Kind of come, came together here in the last week or so. The, there's an opportunity, I guess, the goal is have some leftover money this year that they were able to spend due to motions and canceled, and they would be willing to make a donation towards the actual course. Um, we talked on the park board in the past about um, originally the basketball course was going to be on the new concrete because the basketball course, you know, it's got a lot of cracks in it. Um, and this would be a way to fix that without having to rip that concrete out. So the first report, the polymer material that it's, it's really nice. There's some cities nearby that have it. I went and looked at it. Um, and the coalition would like to donate a portion of it if we include their logo on it. So the picture, I hope you have a color copy there. Um, that's my bullet that everything. So it's not great that the logo would be it wouldn't have a white square there, it would just be placed on top of the red board. So there's an opportunity and I know they would like to some direction before the next park commission meeting for you know, even until December, so I wanted to change the result. The the ones you looked at, because this is what we were talking about putting on the pickleball court. At one time, the same stuff. At, at what? No, but because we'd have to remove it for it, be in the ice rink. But at one time, we were talking about putting this on the uh, yeah. ice rink. Yeah. And so we'd have to remove it. They did buy these this last summer, and they have four more in order because they like them. Uh, they're in the old country. Now, who did that? The city of Cardinal. Okay, but now, is it on concrete? Yeah. Is a ship? No, so the border of it is anchored down and then the center pieces are locked in place. I've been on them every other time. Yeah, I've yeah. heard good things and when I look at them, they good in all conditions. And you put those new basketball hoops up and they look really nice when it's the concrete and even with the cooler weather, there's a lot of heat in the day on them. So. Yeah. 
you got the new ones up already? Now, are you going to have to raise the raise in the floor? Or uh, the, just a quarter inch. Half inch, maybe? So. That's all it is? So. And, 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 and they don't have enough money to, to pay for the whole thing? So. I, I, I'd really like to see that donated money uh, spent other places are wait till spring so that we know exactly what we have. So we still have some projects to come out of there. So there's be no hurry to wait till spring, right? I think, uh, from my understanding, we need to go forward before January. The coalition is in there last year. Pardon me? The coalition for their grant funding was in there last year. That's why it's kind of sad. Oh, it was in the last year this year? Yeah. The only, uh, only thing I see is what, what they're donating. They're getting a pretty big logo. Does the logo really have to be? Oh, we can make it smaller. I was, I was hoping to put the logo on there anyway for the listeners. Mm -hmm. That would have to come out of 216, or it could come out of 217, but well, it could. It might. I know, but what what's in 217 now? But then we have the warming house, and then I and Gary met with the donor, and she kind of has a desire for the building not to have a cement floor, and it, so I really we really got to watch the money on that and her wishes, and I think. She's okay with the basketball court, the donor is. But I don't know. What do you, do you think there's 15,000 and we wanted to save so much for maintenance in 216? Right. I, I'm thinking of 216. It happened, but then what's that going to leave us for long term maintenance, which the council hopes to have? We reserved 150,000. In 2017, and council wishes to make a motion tonight to reserve an additional Wait, wait. We don't have 150,000 in 2017. That's what we reserved for that. For 2016. Yes, but that, that, that's already donated uh, to activities. So no, what? No, but. It was broke 50 50 into activities and into uh, improvements. Is it 1,000 for Rexa? No, 1, no. 1,000 for activities and 500 for cleaning and trailers. But, but in the overall from that, there, it was broken 50 50 into activities and 50 50. That could be spent in the future. So, but we can look at two sixteen. But for all the bills paid for the current projects, that uh, money to be from the some of the funds. Okay. And then we have estimates on what uh, the projects are going to cost with the donor. Uh, wants to see happen inside the building? Oh, we. Some. Do you still have to put the kitchen mat in there? In other areas. I think it would be an easier decision to make if we knew that we had everything covered before we spend any more money on the building. Yeah. And if, if, there, if there's funds there to continue to make improvements, I can see. Uh, making some more improvements, but 
without kind of having some data or some hard facts about where we are at in those accounts, it's going to be hard to uh, pass spending any more of that money. Yeah, because we also have the
asphalt that is not going to last more than two, three years. And where they were digging by the bank today, that base asphalt is not more than an inch and a half, two inches. And they're only going to put an inch above it. Not according to the curve. But the way that base is already breaking up is horrible down by the school.
I really don't know what our options are in this situation. There's nothing that we need to make a, what we need to do in the yeah, you have to do something for those four people this winter. Well, I mean, there's a motion, you know. It's not a ban, not abandoning this alley or anything like that. It's just putting a barricade there and closing it at that point, whenever that comes. So, um, well, it's actually abandoned. If, if they have to build a ramp to make a, I couldn't abandon it to the utilities. Yeah, I know. But then I think uh, whoever worked with it should work with the owner of the Times so that the Times could sell that. Uh, Tim, do you guys still own that? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> to make that AD in the future, you know. And, and, and they're going to have to do a slant to get up as high as they want. They're going to have to. And it's going to affect the parking along there too. I think. As far as this so. Well, what's the list of the top? Nothing we can do. I mean, we can only see a very, uh, we just, uh, those guys come up with. Okay. But something, something has to be done. This, I don't think they're going to do anything inside the time frame. I don't no, but they could do it out front to make the kind building accessible. Is all I'm saying. When they put, when they do the grade, go far enough back to the sidewalk to make it accessible for the times building, so that building is usable for the front door. Yeah, because if you go inside, there's about. Right, but that's inside. Yeah. You, can, you can get to the front door. The front door is yeah, there's there's a problem after that. It's not no, but, but, it, but if you bring that front door up to the level of where you walk into the time, up to the level of the inside, it'll help out the time when they design that. Yeah, that, that would be the times thing. But if they want it accessible, I think the county is going to have to go back that far to get it an angle to get up because they got to get up about five feet. And, and so they're going to have to go back quite a ways along the front of the Times building to get up five feet to have. Uh, and they'll have to have at least one landing, and that landing could be in front of the tire. So anyway, have a look at it. Well, you stuck at that needle too, if you can come to the Yeah. Call the sidewalk there. I don't think there's one on there anyway. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, no action on that? Okay. Uh, keep us posted, Gary. Planning Commission? Yeah, so the Planning Commission met um, on Monday, I believe it was, and uh, we went through page by page um, the comprehensive plan, and uh, members of that committee um, made some suggestions as to uh, parts that could be uh, updated um, throughout the whole comprehensive uh, plan. Um, we were also given um, some plans from, I believe it was Foley and Romania. I um, that the commission wanted a little bit more time to review some state of the documents uh, that night and uh, revisit those uh, those plans at another meeting. Okay. Anything else? Okay. okay. Uh, COVID-19 uh, grant application. 
I, I didn't think we were going to approve those that was turned over to you and I. Yeah, at this time. Because they got to October 22nd. Because I don't think we have to bring that before the council. Yeah, we do. Okay. 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 So there's a lot of things that have to be done before, and we're still waiting for a few uh, Tammy and Mary to come around. <coughs> And it's on the website, so the businesses from there and individuals from there. So, uh, the one, one thing we have to decide is how much of the money that's left do we want to give out in grants or an application? The one thing that I'd like to also look at and after rethinking, and I was the one that pushed it for the uh, money for the sliding doors out at the uh, liquor store to come out of the liquor store fund instead of the COVID. But if we have enough to COVID, I think maybe I would reverse my decision on that and have that come out of COVID and then we could have what we were going to Spend from the liquor store coming in to lower our levy to get down to zero percent. That's just the thought. So I don't know what the council thinks about that. So ideal thing. I think after all the businesses have um, access to those funds um, through the application process, if there's anything that that sounds very reasonable. And not only businesses, but individuals. Because there is a individuals that can, it's more restrictive of what they can use it for than the businesses, but they're both on the website. So, okay. Uh, fire department. We'll report there. Um, the Veterans Memorial Construction Project, uh, council to approve to advertise for bids. I'll entertain a motion. So Second. Discussion. Uh, is uh guys on SEH here too? Okay. So we did we did that on your company on the street now you, you didn't have nothing to do with the street did you? <laughs> no, I can't take any credit for that one. Oh okay. <laughs> in, in front of you you have the bid uh, uh, or the estimate. Uh, were you gonna do a presentation or was I it? sure can if you'd like me to or Tim or whoever. Sure. All right. Well, we are to the point now where the uh, the committee here is ready to receive bids for the project. Uh, we're estimating at this time two hundred thousand dollars for the uh, main infrastructure piece of the project, which you see in front of you on the uh, in packet. Uh, this will be for the, uh, the concrete, the sidewalk, uh, the brick paper, the foundation for the uh, heavier um, monuments and that kind of thing. The flag poles, uh, seating, restoration, grading, all that comes with the uh, usual civil portion of the project. What you don't see on this one is the actual granite monuments themselves, the benches. The committee would like to both those up separately in the fall so it's not to a contractor's markup on those larger items that can be displaced after the time. So the number you gave us originally is not the estimate cost, because I got a different one than I had in my packet because I asked Tammy to put me a Different one because I lost another one or I gave it to Tim. 
Yeah, I, I said the update is to pass the county. Um, you put them in fact the county? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, but then, then, then there was, uh, stuff that you said you didn't put in there. So what's the total copy? Uh, that total stuff that we didn't put in there was like another 65,000 approximately in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, just read about two days before. Oh, okay, so that's different than what you guys have in your packet too. Well, that's because the grant isn't in the fifth estimate. Yeah, we couldn't grant it all for next year because we didn't want to do a contract for market That's the reason we want to pull it off and visit any company. Um, and still keep between the competitive bidding requirements of when we did this project. And then we'll get multiple quotes, two or three from granite companies that can do the monuments themselves in the spring or, or to the point when the committee has the money to do that. But this is the public portion that we need to bid. Okay. Yep. But the total cost is about two hundred and fifty thousand. Because I thought I had two eighty. Well it's probably two eighty with when you include engineering in there. I'm talking kind of construction cost over the two years. Okay, but yep. I want to know what the total project cost is. Yeah, I would say that's about right, about like two hundred million. Yep. yep. But, uh, yeah, I think there's very well on the So Yep, so that's that's the plan is now we're what we're doing is uh so we're looking to advertise for bids. Uh, so we've been in the paper this Thursday. So with the council meeting moving to tonight, we obviously could make the paper deadline so we push back a week. Um, and at this point, we're not going to do any work this fall anyway, so I don't think that's really a, a, you know, a, a harm to us at all. But it's a big deal. Um, but we are looking to open bids. We, we have options. We can open bids as early as November 9th, or we can push it back a couple of weeks and give the contractors more time. We don't need the full 21 days because we're not at 375,000. We need about 10 days if we want to. But really, at this point, we won't work for this. So, uh, so we can, that's what I was thinking. You know, maybe if you go with this Thursday, and if you Thursday up your council meeting, mm -hmm. the committee wasn't actually looking to award this in November. They wanted to review them, think about them, and probably award in December. Uh, based on that, based on how big it is. Maybe you did something crazy and you just said it's been an interesting year to get it to take a leave. And then, you know, with material, who knows when they'll come in and give it to you and what you just said. But until we get it out in front of the contractors, we don't know for sure. Okay. Now, part of the bid, are there things in there that Gary, working with the committee, could take out of there? Because I noticed, like, there was a cutting down of the tree. Yes. Yeah, so could Gary work with the committee or, or the committee work with Gary? There are a couple of things that I don't want to put on Gary's plate because I'm sure he's got plenty, but we can't. Uh, cutting down the trees is one of them. Another thing would be potentially moving that or removing that uh, yard hydrant that's out there. Or uh, that's better for the contractors. Either way, the yard hydrant sits right in the middle of the sidewalk. It's going to happen there. It's either a relocation or just a move. Uh, so those are the two things that came to mind that uh, certainly could be felt from, from, from Gary and his guys. Well, I, I've had Gary look them over and see it. Because that's quite an expensive tree as far as people can take them down and cut down the price. Yeah, I, I think it, it, that's an option. I, I, I would have Gary work with the committee. Okay. And Gary, as far as the city, works with the committee. And he sounds like all of the people. Yeah, but this ain't a, that large of one. It's like, like a six inch one. Maybe it's about to stand, but it's not, it's not, it's not extremely huh? Huh? It's not extremely large tree. Oh, okay. it, but it's not, it's not, it's not that, uh, it's not that I would like to cut down on the numbers myself either. Okay. Just have Gary and, we can look at it. Sure. Gary and the committee. Okay. Yeah, that's an easy enough thing. We can, we can also leave it in the bid, and if it works out in the, in the meantime to, to get rid of it prior to the bid, we can just pull that off the contract or anything. We can price it. So. Yeah, it's been quite the exciting project with these guys are a fun committee to work with. Uh, I'm really looking forward to moving it. Um, groundbreaking coming coming up right there. Yeah, can I see a couple of things about yeah. that? Uh, we're having a groundbreaking ceremony on Veterans Day at uh, Symbol Park at 3 30. <coughs> and um it's going to be a short program, and I've got a commitment by uh, retired General Jerry Lang, Mark and Ayo, to come and uh, address the crowd that day. 
So it should be a good way to kick off the uh, building of the memorial. And with that little fundraising boost too. Yeah, that's that's what I was gonna say. Now with him coming, is there any question? Like when we did the um and Barry reminds me that when we did the band shell, uh the committee then got a donation from Jerry's who he worked for, Nice River, or mm -hmm. no longer Nice River, and they supplied all the cement for us. He emailed me a form for a for that. So you apply for it, do they supply it, and does that come off the bid? Or do you just take his money and whoever's doing the contracting and gets the cement from wherever they want? So if we know in advance that that is an option, we can say that the material will be supplied by water in this case. Okay. If we don't know that in advance that we can't be certain of that, we can ask for a change order from the contractor to reduce the cost of this to apply that much. Okay. Which would be the way I would think of working that. But it, 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 it could work that way. It could, yeah. Yep. At, at some point we need to be certainly, we need to be careful that we aren't, you know, Crossing threshold with competitive bidding. That's why we're getting the property publicly. We make sure to keep the city out of trouble. Yeah. And all the state statutes. So that's that's got to be priority number one. So we certainly don't have something over as the uh, you know, memorial committee helping with the fiscal portion of it. So we got to keep the out of trouble. That's what we're trying to do. And then I also know that the committee will do a good job in fundraising, but at one time when you met with the parks and the committee met with the parks. Mm -hmm. You talked about this would be payable over three years or a three year project. So we talked, when we first met about funding, we talked several options for funding this thing. Uh, we were to the point now, uh, as I was told, that we have enough money to do this first phase of the project. Okay. And that's the, that's the phase we're working on now, so I'm asking for your approval to bid tonight. And then I think, you know, the actual monuments themselves and the other portions that come after the fact, the, the timing on those can be flexible based on the income from the budget. That's what I want to make sure from the city point. Yeah. The park will function just fine without those things. It certainly isn't going to be the draw that we want it to be, but it will function as a, as a nice place so with or without the um, without monuments. So. Yeah, we've done this specifically so that this portion will be a usable thing for the park with or without the timing on the future. On the future and I hope we put the thought into that process. That, that is the point of the town. Is there anything else, Tim? So all we're doing tonight is calling for the bid and they will be open. November 19th? Let's say November 19th, that's another time works the first yeah. morning or afternoon. And, and there's no problem with having the downgrading before that because it isn't that November 11th or something? That would be November 11th, correct. Uh, and no, there isn't. I mean, it would be nice to have the contractor on board, but given given the benefit of giving contractors more time to work on it, I think we are better off not having the contractor do groundbreaking. It, it's a ceremonial groundbreaking, so it's nothing. nothing to okay. Any questions from any other council? Any comments? Council? Anybody else? Looks good, Jim. Good project. Uh, Dave, how do you vote? Aye. Corey? Aye. North? Aye. Me? Yeah. Motion carries. Well, thank you, Tim, and thank you, Dave. Yeah. You don't have to tell SCH we were hard <laughs> on them on the road. I'll no. see you. Yeah, go ahead and tell them. I'll, I'll light them up a little bit for you. Okay. Okay, uh, moving on. Uh, airport taxiway. Yep, Ron Ripple is here. Oh, we saved him the last. <laughs> Were you early this time? Yes, you are. You run a very good meeting.
So this is for the taxiway reconstruction. This is actually what we have at the airport. Uh, what we're proposing to do is what's called hold in place for two minutes. In fact, so we're going to put in the mill, the existing machine, mix it up with the existing aggregate, um, regrade it, actually we'll be able to salvage some of that material so that you can store it and use it in the next process. We'll save you some cost by doing that. Um, and then we can put new bitumen over the top of our own. Okay, so that was kind of a straightforward process. So not a whole lot of change in the grade or anything like that. So it's roughly around $196,000. Um, almost 94% of that would be state funded. Um, being the top of all the funding breaking down. And then roughly around 6%, 6 million. Now, when you say we could use that in future projects? Um, the recycling material will yeah. have to blend it with the existing area. There'll be some extra material that will break out of there to make room for the new flooring system. But, but then, could, yeah, we'll store it on the airport site. Could, could public work do that? Oh, uh, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, On alleyways and any, anything and whatever. Make for a great part. material for that. Huh? Make for a great material for that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, we're looking at, um, Advertising is a deceit. We will bring it on the We'll bring the bids back to your next company in November. Um, then we'll make recommendations of the board and we'll apply for the grant. Um, we do have it set up because of the timing of the grant and the timing of the construction of that uh, construction is completed by July 1. We'll give the contractor the heads up on the workload for next year. That's what we'll go bid it now so we can get out of and Get out of here and get the work with it. What would happen to have to minimize downtime? Yeah, we got a 15 day continuous turnaround once it starts. That continues for 15 days until it's done. So we are looking at setting the airport down. We will pour it into the new repair in one day. Any other questions? Did I have a motion on this? Not yet. I'll entertain a motion to go off for again. So second. Any further discussion or any other points you like to make? No, we did. Uh where does that go back? North, how do you vote? Hi. Uh Dave. Hi. Corey. Hi. Myself. Yeah. Um, okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, Gary, just on that, I did get a call this last week that the alley behind the high rise is really needs some filling in the, on some holes. So that's why that reminded me of that. So I don't look at that too. Because that's been brought up twice tonight. Uh, uh, old business, uh, COVID-19 paid name for employees, uh, of 14 continuation, uh, let me know open. So, second. The same as we've had, and it's working out okay, so. Okay. Any discussion? Dave, how are you going? Hi. Corey? Hi. North? Hi. Myself, yes. Motion carried. Council comments? North? Dave? It's the Roman Retreat Foundation update. We had blue caps a couple weeks ago now. Um, and did pretty well considering the state of things around here and, um, uh, the weather was a little cool, but we did it outside. We had our distance. We did it all correctly and uh, raised some money, so that was good. Um, this month's IT magazine, the quarterly magazine, is up by the Mr. Foundation. They're doing a feature on community funds and state emergency relief funds, and we are like the spotlight one because we lose over twenty thousand dollars in emergency funds that are given out. 
Um, so that will be coming out, and that it came in some pictures of some of the town and stuff. And it was, I haven't seen it yet, but I think it would be a good article for us. So that will be coming out. That's it. Sorry? None. Uh, I just got an update, and in my own comment, I just got an update from the county and uh, on our uh, valuation for next year. Uh, I don't know if you got it, but the professor called me, Tammy, the other day because I had some questions on me. And we did have two million two million uh, sixty seven thousand three hundred dollars in new construction this year. So for the last couple of years, uh, 19 we had 2727 and then in the 80 we only had 807000 So it looks like our uh, taxes and our levy can be reduced and taxes stay the same for our residents if we go to the county. The thing I would encourage the citizens of doing our Meeting in December on truth and taxation is the 17th, and the truth and taxation for the county is December 1st. So if you have any questions about, about it's not on the evaluation and the council but it's on how they are spending your money. So I encourage the people to come to those truth and taxation things. Other than that, any other comments? Motion to adjourn. Okay.